What it is guys, my name is Swifters and today I'm going to be bringing you a really awesome glitch showing you how you can duplicate cards for your friends in GTA 5 Online after the 1.12 patch update. This is a really awesome glitch because it really doesn't take that much time and it's pretty easy to do. Now as always, before this video does get underway, all I ask is that you'd slap that like button and subscribe to my channel as I do post some of the latest GTA 5 content. With that said, let's get right into the video. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is find yourself a vehicle that your friend will be willing to duplicate for you. If you guys don't have any friends that would like to duplicate a car for you, simply comment your gamer tag in the comment section below and hopefully you guys can help each other out. So as you guys can see, as my friend finally brings over the car to where I am, I'm going to take it over to my garage and as you guys can see, it says that this vehicle could not be stored inside of my garage as it is my friend's. So simply park the vehicle exactly like you see me doing so, pretty close to your garage but not too close, and then simply walk inside of your garage. Keep in mind, not only does this glitch work with friends cars, but this glitch also works with any other supercar that you find on the street that cannot normally be stored inside of the garage. Once inside of your garage, make sure that your spawn location is set to garage as opposed to last location. Now to be honest, I have seen this glitch work with the spawn location as last location. However, when I did this glitch, I had my spawn location as the garage. So if you'd like to duplicate exactly what I'm doing in this video, simply have your spawn location as the garage as opposed to last location. Now just to be safe, simply pull up your interaction menu for a second time and apply glasses or a hat to your character just to make sure that the game saves. And as you guys can see in the bottom right hand corner, you have an orange rotating circle which means that the game is saving. From here, simply get inside of a vehicle in your garage that you don't mind getting rid of that has a tracker and full coverage on it so simply get inside of the vehicle and this is where it gets a little bit difficult what you're going to need to do is simultaneously drive outside of your garage hit down on the d-pad and switch to one of the story mode characters like I said guys this is a little bit difficult to do but as you guys can see if you've done everything right you should be allowed to drive inside of your garage so this is pretty difficult to do but remember all you simply need to do is hit down on the d-pad simultaneously drive outside of your garage and switch to one of the story mode characters and if you guys have done everything correctly you should receive this screen simply back out of the screen and you guys can now drive inside of your garage. Now if you guys have done everything correctly from here, all you're going to want to do is hit start, go to online, jobs, join job, and you're going to need to join a captured job. First off, sorry guys, that's my Skype messages going off, so I am extremely sorry. So guys, just ignore those Skype messages, but like I said, what you're going to want to do is join a captured job. To be honest, I don't really know why it has to be a captured job, but I do know that this glitch does work best if you join a captured job. So from here, once you guys are inside of the lobby for the captured job, simply back out as soon as you guys get the option to do so, and once you guys do so, so it should put you in this sort of a glitchy state inside of your garage. From here, what you're going to want to do is run outside of your garage as fast as you can and get inside of the vehicle that's been parked outside of the garage that your friend is going to be duplicating for you. So simply get inside of that vehicle, wait a couple of seconds, and then it should automatically glitch you back inside of your garage and kick you outside of the vehicle. Now, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, a brand new vehicle icon has actually appeared on the radar. That's actually the vehicle that was duplicated from there. Simply have your character run around the corner, and as you guys can see, we have a brand new duplicated vehicle. From there, I'm able to get inside of it and take it back over to my garage. Now guys, now that this vehicle was duplicated, I now have a brand new adder that I can store inside of my garage, and my friend also has the original adder that he used in order to duplicate this car for me. So this is a really awesome glitch that allows you guys to give cars to your friends and store any vehicle inside of your garage. Now guys, that's all I really do have for you in this video. I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for some of the best GTA 5 content, as I do post some of the latest tips, tricks, glitches, news, and easter eggs found in GTA 5. Until next time guys, this has been Swift. I'm out. Peace.